Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 27th going to the 3rd of December. So let's dive in. Let's see what's going on for you guys. I just want to mention we have the yes or no coin today to flip at the end. So make sure you're thinking about your question. And for those of you who have not heard, we have a lovely seven day free trial to a beautiful app full of meditation, full of hypnosis, prayers. Okay, so if you're wanting to get back into developing your intuition, tapping into it, uh, releasing certain emotions, coming back into yourself, whatever it is, there are, there are so many meditations on there. So feel free to check that out. It is a free trial, so nothing to lose there. And if you want to continue with the link, then um, if you want to continue after the trial, then you get 25% off the memberships. Okay, so that is all linked down below, but let's move forward. They have everything on there. There is a video I have on, on it of how it's helped me and I still use it to this day because I love it and it's the only thing I'll ever advertise on here um, because it actually is beneficial. So if you want to check it out, then you absolutely can. But anyway, let's dive into your reading. Uh, for my lovely Virgos, please, Spirit. What is the energy today? Not today, for this week, please. 27th to the third. Interesting. All right. First card you have is very hermit energy, to be honest with you. And it is a no place like home. There's a few things I always have to say about this card. We have the number five or number 50 at the top, which is number five. Uh, this represents necessary changes. Some of you are really pulling back your energy from anything that is taking it from you. I do sense and like that you're elevating your frequency is changing which is good because this means you're going on to a new level is what i'm hearing like uh which means like more happiness more enlightenment you know the kind of good joy good emotions good things you're going to be attracting in what you're putting out and i think you're no longer engaging in things that have been draining your energy anything that may have been low vibrational that you might have been accidentally tapping into we all do it unconsciously from time to time whether it's fear and anxieties whether it's certain people all right certain activities that we do that we get tempted to do you're pulling your energy away from it which is good um you're protecting yourself as you can see here you're moving on up uh, about those clouds and that lovely golden energy is is nice because it means to me that you're protecting yourself you are worthy of really amazing things is what I'm hearing. So you're no longer giving this precious energy of yours to anything around you. It does not deserve it. All right. And that little thing in that corner there is what's on the back. And also in another card here is, is what it shows up in. And what it represents is karmic cycles. You are pulling away from karmic cycles. Similarly, uh, I am picking up on an energy of, again, like what you're putting out into the world because you're withdrawing your energy, you're no longer engaging in karmic cycles. Um, therefore, I feel like a lot of things are changing for you. So no place like home can also be that you're spending some time in isolation, spending some time within your own energy to regain your energy. Maybe you're being a little bit of a hermit, all right, uh, this week, but in this case, it's good. Uh, it's a time of reflection, introspection, focusing on yourself, and it, it does feel it feels like it feels worthy is the uh, word coming to mind here my ear is ringing as i'm saying that all right let's see for virgo please you have the wall card coming through now this is great uh the wall card can be about new beginnings it can be about you know new cycles as we were kind of saying in this deck as well it does really represent that some of you are really trying to focus on a bigger vision is what i'm hearing whether that is in influencing the collective whether that is you know getting your business global some of you could be being in a spotlight for example others of you it could be actually healing the world whatever they mean by that whether it's spiritually whether it's environmentally whether it's to do with people all right you are really aiming towards doing something really really big some people may say scary and impossible um i feel like you're finding a way to make it possible though there's some deep thoughts going through around this time for you guys here all right anyway let's dive in let's see what's going on for you guys uh Virgo what's Virgo's current energy please uh for this week the moon you are deep in reflection here just pay attention to this sometimes with the moon card we want to keep pushing through those emotions in this case it feels like you're trying to understand them let's clarify though king of pentacles trying to gain stability some of you are really focusing on your finances at this time. It does look like maybe your finances will be looking quite good this week. But the moon, can we clarify the moon, please, spirit? The magician. I kind of like this combination. 
normally the, the moon is not really a bad card, but sometimes it can be about, you know, hidden things. The magician, because these are in the upright, it does feel like you guys are dealing with the subconscious. And this is what is uh, changing about your manifestations here. And I think you're doing this mindfully. You're looking at your emotions. You're looking at your subconscious mind. You're looking at these fears and these emotions that you've you've been having and you are using it to your advantage the magician is like the alchemist so you guys might be you know using those emotions to your advantage it's very clever what you're doing is what i'm hearing here all right anything else current energy for Virgo for the week the wild card i love this energy this is about new beginnings again ending of old cycles beginning of new ones it feels like you are manifesting a new new energy one of stability one of financial i'm hearing control so maybe you guys need to budget a bit or you're focusing on budgeting or building something here business looks well you're getting grounded i'm hearing as well this introspection you're doing is really a, a, awakening. I, oh, sorry. It might be awakening for you. <laughs> I can't get my sentences out, but the wild card is here twice. So very big stuff, to be honest with you. Some of you, this could be really tapping into that purpose. Clarify the wall, please. Knight of Wands. Interesting that the Knight of Wands is here. If there is any travel coming up, it might be delayed. I just have to say that because the Knight of Wands is usually about travel. It is usually someone who goes and explores and wants to see the world, experience the world and everything that is inside of it. Because it's reversed here, be careful and cautious of being naive. Be careful and cautious of reckless behavior, of course. But this could actually be what the cycle is that's ending, okay? Acting on impulse or acting on you know uh, i'm hearing false optimism you guys are becoming a lot more cautious and careful in this new beginning which sounds like not so good but it is all right all right what are the blockages for this week for Virgo then two cups reversed and the page of wands page of wands in, in terms of a blockage some of you might be focusing too much on relationships on love maybe a lack of it with the two of cups reverse maybe feeling like people aren't on the same level as you maybe some of you might be feeling quite alone here some of you this could be based on gossip all right people gossiping people not saying nice things about you two of cups some of you need to understand that not everyone is the same as you and that's okay not everyone's gonna like you and that's okay not everyone is you know mature enough to handle things like you is what i'm hearing and that's okay because with this energy some of you might be trying to, or in the past, may have made friends with people out of, out of the fact that you wanted to have friends or, you know, have fun with people. Page of Wands is quite a nice energy. The Two of Cups is like an unrequited situation that could be relationship, all right? For some of you, if you are engaging in, in conversations with people romantically, this is nothing serious so don't pay too much attention to it like i'm sorry but that's just what they're saying here the page of wands and two of cups like something is not balanced here something is not very harmonious here if you are already in a relationship then again try not to let external opinions get in the way or immaturities get in the way of a dynamic here but anyway also you don't need to be loved by everyone all the time Virgo, something that you guys need to hear. In your own world, you're doing really amazing things, so other people's opinions shouldn't matter, okay? All right, recent past, please, for Virgo. Six of Pentacles. All right, this speaks about the fact that you guys have been giving a lot more, therefore you shall receive. Six of Pentacles is like a charitable nature. It's about you've been paying attention to what you give your time and energy to, which makes sense. That's what we've been speaking about. Clarify Six of Pentacles in the past, recent past. Uh, strength card reversed in King of Swords. Hmm. Eight of Wands here as well. King of Swords, Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is really, if this is in your uh, energy, this is about discipline. This is about being analytical here. 
being quite detached but the strength card reverse is like not feeling very balanced or not feeling very strong in this energy so for some of you maybe you were doing something that was you know good but it wasn't really like passionate like there's something missing with that strength card being reversed some of you could be someone else kind of was taking your strength all right you're giving nature may have taken from you somehow maybe it's just giving to the wrong things can you clarify this energy six of wands and the emperor here that's very interesting i'm sensing jealousy from somebody the emperor could be a boss or it could be a father figure i don't know what this energy is the emperor reverse is somebody who you know is either like lazy or someone who has a lot of pride and ego someone who has a lot of pride and ego is looking at your success and i sense some jealousy from that so for some of you someone was taking your energy that's the strength card i'm i'm, I'm saying someone's nodding to that someone is nodding to that Someone might have tried to block your way. They saw that you were successful. I was going to say sexy for some of you. I don't know. Someone may have tried to control you here. Um, somebody kind of destroyed this giving nature. Or maybe like made you lose hope on people. Eight of Cups. Some of you had like a plan, project, vision. But someone tried to destroy it without getting away of it. Or like criticize it or something. I'm sensing this was out of jealousy though, Virgo. Someone was jealous of your, your giving nature. So someone took from you. You know, because what I'm seeing here is like the strength card is being um, shown as like someone giving a gift here. The fact is reverse feels like you regret it. You regret giving someone something in the past. And six of cups reverse as I stop shuffling. as some bad memories. Maybe that's why you pulled back your energy from people. Someone was jealous. You had this lovely nature about you. Sixes can be important for you or the number could be important because six of wands is like you stand out from a crowd, Virgo. Six of pentacles, you help people. You like to give to people. You have a giving nature. Someone's jealousy uh, got in the way of that. I don't want to say destroyed your image because I don't think it's that deep unless it is for some of you, but it's almost like someone really made you lose hope in people. Anything else? Queen of Cups reversed. All right, a lot about instability of our emotions around that because the Queen of Cups is empathic. She has a lot of emotions and these can be raw and these can be, you know, quite overwhelming at times. When she's reversed, it's overwhelming. And again, it's where someone is taking advantage of your emotions and your empathic nature, Virgo. So that's the past. I feel like you've rebuilt yourself. The moon, you've dealt with those emotions. The magician, you know, you've been manifesting and it is happening. King of Pentacles, you've become more stable. The world, you're thinking about bigger things. Bigger, bigger, bigger things. Knight of Wands reversed though. Let me clarify this. The Knight of Swords. Some of you could be receiving a message here. As your current energy, King of Wands could be from a fire sign or someone who wants to collaborate. Yeah, there's a blessing coming through. Someone is, I'm saying, someone is saying, someone will come and give you something before you even go out and do it yourself. Like, it's almost like as you are manifesting something and I want this new beginning and I'm going to do this to get it. That's why the Knight of Wands is reversed. It's almost like you don't really actually have to go out and get it. Knight of Swords, King of Wands, it comes to you. It comes to your door, Virgo. Because you've manifested this in. It could be a love interest. It could be whatever. It's something that you're planning or manifesting or have been putting out into the universe. All right, near future, please, for Virgo. Two of Swords reversed. And happy novel. That's interesting. This comes up when there is a blessing from the universe, my loves. Two of Swords reverse is kind of like, again, maybe you maybe you felt like you had to make a decision on something or had to do something. That decision won't need to happen, by the way. And again, if you have also been closing yourself off from others, then again, the happy novel is again, there's a blessing in that. Eight of Cups. 
You will be walking away from feelings, mindsets, uh, people, situations that no longer serve you to find things that do. Knight of Pentacles, again, I'm seeing some progress and some growth happening. Again, this can be in terms of your life in general. You will see like results, but again, they will be slow moving, but there nonetheless. You've been planting the right seeds. Eight of Cups with the Justice card. You're walking away from things that are unfair. I think some of you, maybe this was like a big feeling of yours. Something was unfair. Something was not giving back the same energy you were giving out to it. So you had to walk away from it. You had to leave it behind. Justice here says that there will be karma from that, okay? Justice is divine intervention here. And two of souls, happy novel. Some of you, you don't have to do anything to get that karma. Again, that's what I want to say to you. If you feel like you've not received your good rewards yet or things are not balanced out yet, then they will be, okay? You are going to be receiving a gift. All right, five of wands reverse and ending to conflict here. The light came off. Let me go put it back on. They do have a timer, so it's nothing paranormal. Don't worry. Um, but who knows when they go out, you know? I've been reading all day. So it happened to come out in your reading, Virgo, just as I said that. So there will be an end to conflict. Lights will go out. <laughs> you have the Seven of Cups here. So I will say that there might still be some mixed feelings here in regards to something or feeling like something is hidden. Yeah, that's why. I'm, yeah, something is hidden. The sun reversed. Some of you didn't get the truth out of the situation. That might be what you're waiting for, waiting for clarity on. Yeah, the Empress. I think you will be attracting it in, to be honest, but it's only when you're living your life that that will come to you, okay? So whatever information you're waiting for, expecting, you are right about it, but it will come to you when you aren't really expecting it. It's just being in the Empress energy, attracting an abundance, being on the throne is what brings in justice. Advice for Virgos? Ace of Swords and a Two of Pentacles. That's very interesting. I'm hearing question everything. Question everything. Ace of Swords. Uh, I'm getting a few things now coming through. Ace of Swords again. That may have been something that was not spoken about or said. That you might be waiting for. Three of uh, Pentacles here. Maybe it's some information that you're waiting for. You're juggling in the meantime. Two of Pentacles tells me that you guys are going to be quite busy. Remember, you have control <laughs> is one thing uh, I want to say here because Ace of Swords usually um, with this combination would say that you are able to kind of cut ties with something if it's too much for you to no longer juggle it and be you know bouncing around. Ace of Swords is kind of a, a reminder of that. You can cut something out if you need to, to rebalance yourself and start again is what they want to say. Page of Pentacles reversed. Some of you might be procrastinating and, and avoiding something. <laughs> That's why I feel like whether it's a decision, whether it is just taking action on something moving forward. To do with like maybe, um, I don't know, if it's some sort of new beginning, temper is reversed. Like this is, this is impatience, but maybe not even impatience. You know, it feels like some of you are completely just not even considering timing. <laughs> you're, in your own, you're in your own world. Page of Pentacles is about kind of like not really taking that step forward into something. And this energy is kind of like dabbling around a little bit, Virgo. All right. Try not to be impatient. Nine of Swords reversed. All right. Conquering the fears here. Dealing with them. Nine of Wands reverse, Knight of Cups reverse. This tells me that there is still some fears of vulnerability here. You will be letting your guard down though, but Knight of Cups tells me also that you're also not wearing your heart on your sleeve. So it's like when you're doing something, you're doing it even though you said you wasn't going to do it or you're letting your guard down, but you're also not wearing your heart on your sleeve, which, okay, maybe that's a smart, a smart choice. Four of Swords, healing, rest, rejuvenation. 
and Three of Cups. You have celebration coming through. Also, in terms of community, I do see some really good friendships coming up for you guys. So question everything is what I was saying here as well. Like if you are unsure, don't take action on anything yet. Okay, if that is what it is, but make sure you understand the difference between procrastinating and uh, and actually going, hmm, like, should I do this? So for some of you in terms of friendships and, and relationships, I really do feel like they are saying, like, let your guard down. But yeah, it's okay to not wear your heart on your sleeve until you feel certain and sure. When this turns in the upright and you know you've received the truth and you know that person and sure, then you can let your guard down if that's what you need to do. And it's fine. I'm sure you're aware of that already. There is celebration though coming through for you, Virgo. Anything else for Virgo? Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, here reversed, which is good. All right, some of you definitely will be helping people who are in need, okay? Others of you are definitely moving away from lack, from the kind of disappointment, financial struggle. You are moving into stability, that legacy, having more than enough, having enough to have everyone, you know, to help everyone or help a lot of people or give to a lot of people, you know? This can sometimes be like philanthropy, I'm sensing for some, or again, like charity in some degree. In your near future, I do see that. Some of you might end up like adopting, I'm seeing, or fostering, or some of you could like host things for people who are less fortunate. Like I do see that. I'm hearing workshops. Some of you will be doing workshops, like as part of your future, your purpose. All right. All righty. Is there anything I'm missing, guys? Or is that everything? To be honest, uh, I'm feeling like your reading is a little bit like messy. <laughs> I like this temptation to do it again, but I think it will reach those who need to hear it. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, some of you, this is a very strong message. These came out together. You have involvement with the law, financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past. This could be like a really good like tax situation. This could just, I, for some reason, if it's a long case that you've been dealing with, you will get financial reward for it and good news. Others of you, this could be like a complete separate case based on like things that have happened to you in the past, like unfair things. You could get like a really good contract uh, that's going to give you a lot of money or you could get like, um, again, like some law legal situation coming up that's going to give you money in return. Like that is a really good karma coming through for you guys, Virgo. You are protected from negative forces beyond your control. You have flag. Don't be tempted to lower your standards, okay? Uh, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. All right, the lower your standards thing is it about this card again. Don't go back to where you've come from. Don't go back into what you've moved away from. There could be a message coming through for some of you, okay? Some significance around June. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. Could be in regards to an older man. Or you could be the older man. And it says claw. Be careful. Do not take risks maybe with the older man here. Or again, like just don't be low, don't be tempted to lower your standards and do something risky. I'm gonna flip the coin for you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Make sure you ask your question in your mind, and I'll flip the coin for you. If you need more time, then post a reading, but I'm gonna flip it, alright? Let's see for Virgo, please. Alright. Answer to your question is a yes. Alright, that's the universe's answer for you guys. Alright. I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I apologize that your reading is quite messy, but I, I have to trust that the universe has got some messages out there to those who need it. Um, but I send you my love. I hope it made sense. I hope it helped in whatever way. Um, but I'll see you guys next time, all right?